Hey, I'm Brittany from PrettyHandyGirl.com and I've heard from thousands, I mean thousands of you who have emailed me and commented and told me how much you love the Best Fit Face Mask. I love it too, but I've actually changed it a little bit to be the most comfortable Best Fit Face Mask and I can't wait to show you why. So you heard me right. This is by far the most comfortable, not to mention best fitting face mask. This new design uses the same best fit face mask fabric pattern, but I've changed the straps slightly so they don't go behind the ears. And this is wonderful for people who wear glasses, hearing aids, or kids who just don't want it behind their ears. This mask design will be invaluable for children who are heading back to school or people going back to work. It allows the wearer to pull it on and off quickly with ease and without the risk of misplacing their mask. Then when wearing the mask is no longer necessary, they can simply pull it down and let it hang around the neck until it's needed again. All right, now let me show you how to make the most comfortable, best fit face mask. Pick your pattern size and cut your fabric out. I'm not gonna go into great detail on how to sew the most comfortable best fit face mask because as I mentioned before, it uses the same pattern as the best fit face mask. You can head over to my website for the detailed instructions and tutorial or click on the link in the description or in the top of this video to be transported there. One of the features that makes this truly the best fit face mask is the addition of a nose clip. Be sure to watch my time saver video to learn more about the nose clip materials I suggest. When you get to the final sewing step in my tutorial, you are not going to add the ear straps. Instead, just sew the sides and I'll show you how to thread the straps next. I found that the 5 8 inch flat fold over elastic hairband material is the most comfortable strap material for over the head wearing. It is super soft, stretches easily, and doesn't pull on your face or your hair. Cut the elastic at 18 inches. You may trim a little off the length later if you find that it's too long, especially for a child size mask. You can also use any cording you like for this mask, but it may not fit through the adjustment bead. No worries, just tie your straps instead. Pin a safety pin to the end of your elastic. Starting from the chin side of your mask, feed the elastic up through one side, then down through the other side, leaving the ends on the chin side. Adding an adjustment bead helps make this mask easy to adjust. To feed the straps through the bead, fold some fishing line in half, feed the loop end through the bead, then slip both strap ends through the fishing line and pull back through the bead. Pull the strap ends through the bead completely, tie the ends of the ribbon elastic, and singe the ends to keep them from fraying. Now let me show you just a few ways to wear and adjust the most comfortable best fit face mask. To put the mask on, make sure the nose clip is facing up. Put the bottom strap, or the tail end side, over your head first and rest it around your neck. Then pull the top strap over your head and let it rest on the crown of your head. Pinch the nose clip against your nose, then pull on the tails to tighten the strap to your comfort level. To loosen the straps, move the bead away from your neck. One thing I love about the straps on this design is the versatility. If you're having a good hair day, congratulations! You can simply put the top strap over your ears and behind the base of your skull. Now tug on the tails of the strap until it's comfortable. Adjust your hair over the straps. Now you go rock that great hair today, you hear me? I'd love to hear from you in the comments if you find other ways to wear the mask. I know you'll love how comfortable it is and how lightweight it is when hanging around your neck. I also know that kids are going to love this design change. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to click that like button below if you liked it. And hey, don't forget to click that subscribe button up there and you'll never miss another DIY video tutorial from Pretty Handy Girl again. Speaking of not missing anything, I'm on all these social channels. Come find me at Pretty Handy Girl.